John, it's a, it's a break from the league uh, this weekend with a cup visit to Livy. A good opportunity to test ourselves against Premiership opposition, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, and it will be a test, there's absolutely no doubt, because it's been a test for many of the Premiership teams going to Livingston, even Celtic, uh, fell fell there. You know, so that tells you the standard of uh, Livingston. You know, they're sitting fifth in the Premiership, a very, very good side. Uh, team with a, a mixed style, because they can be very direct, but they've also got some very nippy, quick, uh, good football players in uh, Stephen Lawless, uh, Keegan Jacobs, uh, Scott Pittman, uh, Sibold, you know, they've got some really good players. So, and all these guys I've just mentioned are not the big ones that everyone else goes on about, you know. Uh, it's easy to, to look at their set play and the number of goals they've got from set plays, long throws, crosses into the box when the big defenders go up, and of course that is going to be a massive a massive threat, you know. But at the same time, we've got to look to play our football. Uh, hopefully, we can, uh, we can cause any problems, you know. I think there's still areas in their team that we can exploit and we, we look to do that uh, we look to take our game onto them but we know that they, they work extremely hard they close you down they press you they force you into just kicking the ball away and we've got to we've got to rise to that challenge we've got to be able to be able to play under pressure retain possession of the ball build attacks try to play through them and uh, ultimately score more goals than them but we'll need to defend you know at times long balls long throw-ins, corner kicks, free kicks and uh, you know that's what Livingston have done very very successfully and why they sit fifth in the, the Premiership table right now. Yeah, We go into every match want, wanting to get the win. Um, the prospect of a good cup draw should we get through shouldn't distract us from the task in hand which is Livy a very strong team like you said. Yeah of course without doubt, yeah no exactly. No, Everyone on Saturday is going out to try and get through into the next round of course there's some David and Goliath games out there, you know, Eastern Rar playing Rangers and that, that type of thing, you know, uh, Broxburn playing St Mern, you know, and, and ours is maybe not that extent, but still, like, you know, they are uh, fifth in the league and, uh, you know, we are somewhere, something like 17 positions, you know, below that type of thing, so there's a, there's a bit of a gap there, but that's, football's 11 v 11, it's on the day, you know, they've had a, a little break and they've went away uh, to Spain and they had a couple of games, obviously, which keeps them, uh, you know, match practice, they got their match practice, because sometimes when they go away, these teams, they don't get a game in and then they come back and a little bit rusty, but they've managed to get a couple of games in, which would obviously help them uh, on their return, but uh, we've been playing competitive games and uh, there's no there's no substitute for a competitive game, so we've been playing games and uh, we're certainly, you know, confident that we can go there and, uh, and you know, play our football and uh, hopefully we can get a result. Yeah. Uh, looking back to the, the league game at 4 for last weekend, obviously John Baird got the goal. It was good to see him get that goal and also him saying after the game that he feels properly up to speed after coming back from Australia earlier in the season. Mm -hmm. With Jamie Gullen away, it's good to have that experience up top in yeah. the net. Yes, it is. Yes, it, is. Yeah, it was good for John to get, to get the goal. Of course it was. It was a very, very good goal. You know, it was a, a good ball out wide and a great ball from uh, Ken McDonald into the, the back area and Dylan done really, really well to get the ball back across and John was in there where a striker should be right in between the in the posts and, and getting the goal and uh, you know if only Dylan's one chance had gone in and we're coming with three points we'd have been even more happier. Uh, however, you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, but no, John's you know up to speed now so hopefully he can you know continue to score goals between now and the end of the season. And, do enough for us to, to win this league. Yeah, um, we know that Jamie Gullen's back at Hibs and we know that Stephen Anderson is injured. Um, c can you clarify the situation with uh, Fernandi Mendy, who's been out on loan at Kelty Hearts? Yeah, well, his loan deal ran out on Monday. So, uh, under different circumstances, Stephen being, you know, fit, you know, where we were when Stephen came here, obviously, and we made everyone fit. You know, it was the right thing to do to put Fernandi out. Now, unfortunately, we went through a period where we had like four defenders out and it was very difficult having to play players out of position. And so, with Stephen now got a long-term injury, it's only right that Fernandi comes back here. Uh, we were hoping to try and do something else which may have allowed Fernandi to have stayed out. Unfortunately, that didn't materialise. So, certainly in the meantime, if not, even to the end of the season, Fernandi will be back here. 
Right, okay. And and with regards to the rest of the squad's general injury news, um, how's Daniel, Daniel Armstrong progressing? And it was good to see Miller and Smith back on the bench. Yeah, it was. It was good to see uh, Mickey Miller on the bench, uh, Jack Smith back on the bench. It made us have the full bench for first time in two or three weeks. So that was very, very good. And of course, Mickey's got this week's training under his belt as well. So being a part-time player, you know, you're only really getting two nights a week and coming back for injury, he got two nights in last week and now getting these two nights in this week is probably going to help him, you know, get back and have the confidence in his knee and everything like that. So that's a big plus. Jack gives us a wee option up front, you know, he's a bit unfortunate that, you know, he picked up that injury just after coming on in uh, the game against Dumbarton there again. So it was, uh, you know, awkward for him because he, he might have got a wee chance if he had been, you know, fit in that, that period. So the team went and won a couple of games since then. and. Uh, but it's good to have him back. Uh, Dan Armstrong is progressing very well. Uh, don't think he'll be ready for the weekend. But maybe for the Montrose game, you know. Hopefully they'll get him back for the Montrose game. Uh, so we have a little other injury situation to another player who is going to probably miss out at the weekend. But I'm, I'm going to keep it under my hat at the minute and just keep it to myself. Yeah. Uh, and finally, regardless of what happens at, at Libby, you know, you're going to want to see a good performance that we can take into the league campaign for the rest of the season at this in this very very close uh, League One, League One um, f contest. Yeah, exactly, one hundred percent. That is exactly what we're going to try and do. We're going to go and try and play football. We're going to try and get our uh, our game together. Try and make it difficult for Livingston if we can beat a banana skin because it only takes Livingston to drop the standards a little bit, us to raise the standards a little bit, and all of a sudden it's game on. And that's what we look to do. You know, that's what we look to do. It's, it's not like they're playing. Celtic Rangers, Hibs, Hearts, Aberdeen, you know, if they kind of like just are not quite at it and we kind of rise to the challenge and, uh, you know, if, if, if that happens then we're we are liable to, to beat anyone on our day. So we're looking for a, a good performance and whatever happens, taking uh, the situation that we've went to a Premiership club, we've done really, really well and take that confidence into the league programme to the end of the season and uh, then it'll all be worth it. Great. Well, thanks. We hope it's going to be worth it as well. Uh, and good luck for the weekend. Thank you.